What is up guys? It's your boy Hand Cannon Cacus and today we are going to be showcasing the Midnight Coup, an absolutely iconic weapon finally re-added into Destiny 2 via the Brave Arsenal in the Into the Light free DLC. And guys, I'm going to level with you right off the bat. This thing is insane. Like, the perk quality makes raid weapons look like Season of Plunder trash, okay? Like, oh yeah, I'm getting a little carried away. Let's get started with why the Midnight Coup is so good by taking a look at a totally different hand cannon. Trust me, it'll all make sense. And that hand cannon, of course, is the Fatebringer. Now, the Fatebringer, which drops from the Vault of Glass raid, is generally considered to be overall the best kinetic hand cannon in the entire game. And in my opinion, the absolute god roll it can get for PvE is going to be, first of all, explosive payload in the left column. Now, pause. We gotta talk about this. Any hand cannon that can get explosive payload at all is going to be a massive boost for PvE. Now, why is that? Well, hand cannons have notoriously bad range. Have you ever been shooting an acolyte in, you know, a nightfall with a hand cannon and you're like, dude, it took my entire magazine to take this red bar down? Well, that's probably because you're not using explosive payload. What explosive payload does is it takes part of that overall hand cannon damage and it makes it well, explosive, but that explosive damage has infinite range. So whether you're shooting a guy one foot in front of you, or you're shooting a literal pixel on your screen of the thrall you forgot to kill that's in a completely different area, it's still going to do that same explosive damage. And so this means your range is essentially massively increased. And when you're doing especially higher level PvE content, stuff like Nightfalls, you're gonna be wanting to maintain some distance between you and the enemies. And so having explosive payload makes a colossal difference. And if that wasn't good enough, it just straight up adds around 10 to 15% more damage all the time. It's like having frenzy active all the time, no matter what. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And so especially when hand cannons can get explosive in the left column, meaning that they can get explosive plus a damage increasing perk, that's where we get literally the best rolls in the game. And the Fatebringer can do exactly that because in the right column, it can get frenzy, boosting your damage even further, improving your reload speed, your handling, what a fantastic perk. Now, some people would argue that instead of Frenzy, you want Firefly, so precision kills will cause an explosion. This is also a very good perk. I don't think it's quite as good, but it's still going to be God tier. Now, keeping all that in mind, we then look at the Midnight Coup. Look at this. It gets explosive in the left column. Big check mark. Like, the main thing you're looking for for God tier PvE hand cannons, we just checked that off. And what can it get in the right? It can get Frenzy. So it can literally get the Fatebringer PvE God Roll, which is the best kinetic hand cannon in the game for PvE. So it already ties that, but wait, we have an Origin trait. We have Indomitability, where final blows grant grenade energy when you're on a light subclass or melee energy when you're on a darkness subclass. Okay, so well, let me get this straight here. It has the exact same roll, as literally the best PV hand cannon in the game. Oh, except it also just passively regenerates your grenade or melee ability. Because remember, the Fatebringer being an older weapon, it came from the time before origin traits. It has no origin trait. So already you have a pretty compelling argument that the Midnight Coup is just a straight upgrade. It's a Fatebringer that now has passive ability regen. And um, that sounds pretty good to me. You know, sign me up, gamer. You got me. You know, that sounds incredible. But you may be saying, well, the time lost version of the Fatebringer has double perks, making it more versatile and has access to adept mods. But the Midnight Coup shiny version also has double perk slots. So it's really, what do you find more valuable? The ability regen from the origin trait or the access to adept mods? And that is razor thin guys. And again, this just shows how powerful the Midnight Coup is. We are absolutely neck and neck with the best kinetic PvE hand cannon in the entire game. However, the Midnight Coup has access to a ton of perk combinations that the Fatebringer does not. First of all, for you Firefly gamers, 
The Midnight Coup can also get Firefly, but very rarely it can actually get Firefly again in that left column, as you can see. So you can have Firefly and Frenzy, Firefly and a damage increasing perk. That is actually somewhat of an advantage over the Fatebringer Firefly role. Not to mention the Midnight Coup also has the incredible one for all. And specifically with the perk combos the Midnight Coup can get, one for all is absolutely God tier. So, one for all is going to increase your damage by 35% for around 10 seconds, which is one of the biggest damage increases you can get from a weapon perk, but you have to damage, not kill, damage three separate enemies within quick succession. Now, normally with a hand cannon, that can be pretty annoying to trigger, but not with the Midnight Coup. First of all, again, you have access to Firefly in the left column. So you can get, as you can see here, Firefly plus One For All. And yes, the Firefly explosion triggers One For All. So you can see right here, I shoot one single time, I trigger Firefly, the explosion hits multiple enemies, boom. I have One For All in one single shot. And if that wasn't good enough, after my whole spiel about how good the explosive payload perk is, on hand cannons, especially PV hand cannons used in endgame applications, raid day ones, uh, nightfalls, etc. Um, the explosive damage from explosive payload will also trigger one for all. Again, as you can see right here, one single shot with an explosive payload midnight coup, and I now have a 35% damage increase after one shot. Now, Yes, you could be saying, well, that takes some time to set up. Not all the time you have enemies, you know, so bunched close together, but it frankly doesn't matter. You have that explosive payload hand cannon, which is already incredible. And then you're adding the ability to easily, much easier than normal, trigger that 35% damage increase. Even if you don't have three enemies bundled together, you're often gonna have two enemies close together. And so you shoot one guy, you already have one for all times two, you hit one more guy and boom, it's activating. The fact that you can activate it one shot less, technically two shots less, just means that you're gonna consistently have one for all up all the time. I think explosive plus one for all is just god tier, but it's not the only god tier role. Like we saw earlier, you can do explosive plus frenzy to massively improve your reload speed. You can do explosive plus the new desperate measures to increase your damage, explosive plus rampage, but also you have explosive plus kinetic tremors. And this is the only hand cannon in the entire game that can get that combo of explosive or Firefly, frankly, plus Kinetic Tremors. Now, Kinetic Tremors is super interesting. After continued kinetic damage, you will cause three AoE explosions around that target. And the AoE explosions actually chunk, like they do a decent amount of damage. Now, the downside is that it's going to take six shots from your Midnight Coup, even with explosive. Unfortunately, you don't get like uh, two hits technically from an explosive payload to like trigger um, kinetic tremors earlier than usual You'll still have to hit six times no matter what first column perk you have to trigger kinetic tremors Now some people are saying well, who are you shooting six times with a hand cannon? You should be using your special or heavy but other people are saying, look, you have an infinite ammo gun now that is capable of stacking two damage increases on top of each other and you don't have to do other things to trigger them. You just shoot your target and you can do a very good amount of damage to yellow bars as you can see right here. And if you are in higher level content stuff like Grandmasters, you don't always want to spend your special ammo or heavy ammo on a lowly yellow bar, but you want to get that guy out of there quickly. It's really not unreasonable that you would shoot six rounds, you get those uh, kinetic tremors explosions, and you absolutely chunk that guy. It's actually not a bad roll. And the best part is, guys, you don't have to settle. You don't have to pick one. If you get lucky, you can get that shiny roll. You can get explosive and kinetic tremors plus frenzy or plus uh, one for all or firefly and explosive 
plus one of those perks. You can have multiple god rolls in the same weapon and then you can switch it around to whatever you like. And frankly, regardless, you almost cannot go wrong. As long as you get explosive in that first column, in my opinion, I think that is required. Pair it with really any damage increasing perk and you're gonna have a god tier weapon. If you're looking at a potentially new best in slot, I would say it's explosive plus one for all. That's something that the Fatebringer cannot do. Yes, you are giving up the reload speed that you get from Frenzy, but hey, throw on um, an arms armor mod, a kinetic loader mod, and then you're back up to your reload speed and you're gonna be doing significantly more damage than what the Fatebringer can do. And don't forget, you have that passive ability regen as well, thanks to that origin trait. So, um, yeah. The Midnight Coup is cracked. One of, if not the new best kinetic PvE hand cannon in the entire game, 100% try to get one. Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.